I have an urgent message from Dorgonis, Dr Lord Captain. Our astropaths are receiving numerous transmissions, but no, these aren't ordinary messages. Each and every one of them is a plea for help. Dr Dorgonis is reporting a massive Xenos Xeno raid. Every mental image transmitted is wreathed in flame. Master Zakairi is struggling to determine what, when exactly the invasion began, but all signs point to it happening shortly after your departure to the Cenerus Malefi Maleficium. Any delay condemns the world to ever greater suffering. Your people are begging for immediate aid. Okay, so... What? What happened? Instead of admiring themselves, monkeys should direct their gaze at the world around them more often. What are you doing, my study? You're lit? Oh, the... <laughs> the dude. Oh man, we just turned him into a freaking... Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, the fusion device created by inhuman hands have brought... Okay. Oh man, we just turned a noble Xenos warrior into a... Uh... Into a freaking display. Oh well, this is an Imperium. Where is... Yurlet? Taking careful steps almost without a sound, the Yurlet examines the study interior, raising her brow in surprise and muttering something to herself in the Aldari tongue. Uh... Yurlet, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. I have no idea this was your dwelling until I entered it. The Aldari turns her emerald gaze on you. It seems that she is completely unfazed by your sudden appearance. On my craft world, we, held, we all held to a simple custom. You may set your foot whenever your path requires. Sacred ground was the only exception to this rule. Is there something sacred in this room, Ellen Tark? Your lip looks around the room. I do not think so. Uh, how do you manage to slip past our enforcers? For humans, trespassing is akin to an insult. Did I ever think I would encounter this again after Kudarak? You laughed sorrowfully, stiff, meaningless rules, and condem condemnation of overstepping lifeless boundaries. It weighed, on a heavy it weighed so heavily upon me back then. But is your entire world contained within such a tiny metal cage, Alantark? Your ship, these chambers, e they are but a speck of dust, an island, a temporary shelter in a world that is far bigger and more expensive than, well, enough of that. Now that you're here, I wish to speak to you about our agreement. I have traveled through the veil many times since I your steel winged bird, and every time her voice torments me, trying to drive me mad, your stares through you, unconsciously touching the spirit stone on her chest with a trembling hand. Her whispers fill my ear each time I enter the warp, in inescapable in and in incessant, poisoning and inflaming every single emotion and thought, and making them uncontrollable. I have learned to shut myself off as best I can, just so that I might have a chance to search for what I have lost. We found everyone we could, Ellen Tark, and all of them were dead. Hopeless and despair gleam in Yurlet's eyes, and her voice breaks treacherously, but the threat of fate is broken and I no longer know how to help my people. I failed to save everyone, self failed to save anyone, and I failed to learn the truth about Kudorax's demise. I, I have lost my way, and I thought you were the only person on this entire ship who might understand. Was I not wrong to think so? was I. For a moment, the sad, a sad smile flickers on Yurlet's face, and her voice rings with agonizing doubt. No matter what, you try to keep your promise, even if your species love to stamp out any life form that they find undesirable. Uh, eh, yeah, don't give up. You'll find what you're looking for. What is this, Alan Tark? Consolation? Why do you... What do you... Your lips words were interrupted by a strange sound similar to a stifling sigh, her gaze trained upon something past you. Turning around, you see what has caught her attention. An odd, unsightly shard of porous metal, melted on the wall like a trophy. An entire kaleidoscope of emotions play across her face, changing too quickly to catch. She sighs once more, and then her feelings are concealed behind an impenetrable, impersonal mask. What is this, Alan Monkey? Sounds unusually cold. Something has changed. It's as though you have cut yourself off from me, Yurlet. What's going on? Yurlet looks at you, her eyes devoid of every motion, even every shred of life and warmth that you briefly held in them. You are observant, Alatark. How unusual. But there is no need to trouble your mind with conjecture. I have inflicted enough of my unbridled feelings upon you, but I am in control again. Enough. I have lingering here for too long for now. I would like to avoid- What? There's something in my room that causes her- Something on the wall. Is it these? These? Or maybe something else. I don't know. What the hell is this? Ah, okay. Yeah, I have no need for that. Yeah, let's just get out. Okay, uh... 
let's talk to the High Factorum. See, Cosmo Eco Mission. Eh, something, I guess. Yeah, you know what? Just at the cargo. Whatever. Where's Cabalite armor? Okay, you're lit. Oh, uh, what was it? Chameleon cloak. Uh, where's the thing? Thingamajig. Yeah. Okay, Visor. Increase. When the wearer kills a target with a single range attack for the first time in combat, the wearer immediately gains an additional attack this round. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't do much. Uh, what type of armor am I wearing? Reinforced Kabbalite armor. So that means these things are good for. Yeah, just at the cargo. I don't need too much of these. Okay. Hear that? What happened? Hell on talk. Okay, I'm a bit suspicious. Be on this side. May you I'm very suspicious. You are spoiling me with the splendor of your presence again, Sherin. Have you decided to treat your soul to the fruits of my eloquence? Or do you wish to discuss business with the newly appointed owner of a Mercatum Tabula Officiale? Yeah, sorry about Core. My gang is quite the void beast, Sherin, with three heads stemming from a single neck. Core's untimely demise will not interfere with our mutual business. I do feel sorry for his twin, though. Tora has been getting into trouble with her brother since they were kids. Getting out of trouble, too. But not this time. But why are we talking about the departed, Sherin? We must save a few good words for the living. Take Falco, for example. I will impale that ash mag on a stake, Sherin. You will see. I will pick a slim one, so he has more time to appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let's... Oh. Let's leave her rage, you know. Let's leave her to her rage. To what do I owe this visit? I think. Lord Captain. Lord Cap. Okay, uh, voiceman at arms. Can you explain to me why Yurlet was in my freaking place and you guys weren't stopping her? Okay, whatever. Uh, where am I? Who? Oh. Okay, let's just hurry back to Dargonis. Uh... Oh, great. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, what kind of demons are we? Cults of Nurgle. Oh, great. I'm dealing with freaking Nurgle. And a plague bearer over here. Of course. First up. Let me equip some uh, grenades first.
max ammo three. You know what? I really, really am curious about the heavy flamers. So let me choose this one. Yeah. Samurai Stormtrooper. I believe I got something better. Yep. Skill and strength. Completed boots. Okay. Let me save the game. I have a nose for profit and the taste for adventure. I'll see to it personally. Your arrogance will be your downfall. You're the brother of Buck's debut! Okay, how many am I dealing with? One, two, three. Let's snorkel. One, two, three, one, two, three. A lot of it. Okay. This may be a freaking bad idea. But you know what? Let's take out the, the pig guard first. Why are you sitting up here? Okay, sitting up here. Magenta, sit up here. Maybe deal with these guys. Sit up here. Plus, yeah. Not crap. This is gonna be harsh. It's as good as done. What the hell is? Who is not me? On it. I'll make it. Yep. Your end was inevitable. I'll see to it personally. Okay. Who is not me? I'll see to it personally. Come over here. <sighs> if I must. Okay, let's do. Yeah, this tedium is beneath me. All right. Fault oh, favors the swift. If it serves your cause. Yeah. Really? Hmm. Yeah. What the? What the hell happened? Come on, just come over here. Yeesh. Ow. Okay, uh, let's see. Isn't this a job that sucks? Me, if you insist, Captain. Okay, uh. Isn't this a job that sucks? Please. Really? Okay, what Victory is Uh... Damn it. Nothing I can do. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bring ruin. Oh, crap. Help me, Lord Captain! Death for the weak! I really can do it. Uh, does he get healed by that thing? I believe so. I'll do it. Guarded by faith. Yeah. Wait. Why? Yes, the K. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I get the hell out of there. Crap. Do that. Alrighty, uh. You got a problem? Yeah, please. Deliver us. Yes, I get it. Step aside. The navigator is coming. I think I'm just gonna come over here. So, uh. See, can you actually get that? Kinda. Let's do this. Damn it. I'll do it. Right over here. I just went over here. Get out. 
Isn't this one of the uh, the place where the lower engine decks, like where Abelard's, uh, you know, quest was? Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Yeah, I believe so. Whatever. At least I get something. I always have a backup plan. The valves. Is there money to be made? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. There's practically nothing here, right? Let's get out. Let us know door. Okay. Finally, we're in spa safe space. Oh, crap. Really? Let me deal with uh, Dargonis first. Trukari void chips, of course. This will be exciting. Okay. Oh. Immortality is a nice destroyer. Ish. At least they'll be heading at the right direction. Oh, 
Damn it. Yeesh. Yep, we got it. Oh. What the, I thought it was only two ships. What? You're bummer. Always target the weak one. Really? Okay, spam out torpedoes. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, uh, which side is... Okay, so starboard side. Uh, this is... Of course, the front. What are you gonna do? First of all, go here. Fire in the fire, the retribution. Okay, I died. Okay, I'm dead. All clear. Congratulations, Lord Captain. Beautiful. And I got a Hecutor. Of course. Let me save because I don't know if I did again. Let me. Ship. And let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's not bring Xenos. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, I may have uh, miscalculated on that. Can I go back? Always keep your eye on the price. Damn it. Okay, fine. Uh, you have the last gun. Oh crap, the... The fusion gun is on, uh... Is on... J. Okay, don't panic, don't panic. Everything still be alright, I guess. All things considered. No, let's do this. I mean, he does have this thing that grants his plasma, so... Okay, what happened? I believe this is a witch? Yep. All of the I wrong traders. Keep my options open. Oh. Lamenti looks haggard with deep shadows under her eyes and hands trembling slightly. She is staring at you with a mixture of amazement and bitterness. Your lordship, is that really you? We lost all hope. I've ever seen you again. Was I supposed to use the the thing to like teleport here? I think so. Dragonus has been hit by a massive Xeno attack. The police resistance was broken in mere hours and invaders com commenced a planetary raid. The planetary defense forces were able to hold the inner perimeters of several cities. Two of the attacks were stiffened and the approaches to settlements. But the fights continue here as well on, Val on Valencia Palace. Maybe was Sarian. Where's the Kitty Sun? I thought you see her by your side. The secretary exact whereabouts are unknown, but under normal circumstances, he has ever he's hardly ever sets foot outside of the palace grounds. I'm sure you realized what this could mean. Dracarius is after living victims above all else, so why would we force assaulting palace when they could be stolen on another city? Alas, I do not know the answer, your lordship. When the Xenos attacked the palace, they sent a force so great that the increased war presence and the defense parameters were wiped out in minutes by the throne. Whatever they were looking for in there, they spent no troops to get their hands on it. Where's Governor Drives them? The governor is currently protecting a within a well fortified bunker. As are the heads of the other noble houses. Still, each family has provided all valuable available resources to defend Dargonus, or rather, their defense of their respective regions. Uh, let's do this. The attack began a few hours before dawn of the capital. They attacked the fleet. We received boarding calls right before we lost communication with the crews. The sacrifice was or not. The ground troops had the time to start mobilizing, and the civilians went on to organize the defense. Several hive cities managed to hold on their perimeters, another sustained great losses, and two cities were completely devastated. Our intelligence still knows nothing about the face of the militia millions of people. They are a high likelihood that we lost it forever. Uh
Listen to this. Inaudibly, as soon as the situation on the planet stabilizes, the addition to our own territory, serious damage was done to the Adeptus Administrative Department station on Dargonis. I hope this won't lead to any kind of accusations against House of Valencius. Let's do this. I'm afraid so, your lordship. The attack on the palace began later than the rest. Once, they reserve for once the reserve forces has been transferred to the other regions, which is particularly odd, they weren't tempted by an entire city at the apex of which your resistance stands. No, the which of the enemy forces targeted this, the palace specifically. We cut off the periphery forces from those that made it inside the palace, and we continue to storm the building. We killed so many of the, these be those bees, but the Xenos are repelling our assault with ferocity. It's as if they are waiting for the right moment. Or perhaps they haven't yet completed whatever goal they're pursuing inside. What's the current situation? The PDF is on his last legs, Lord Lordship. We've been waiting a war attrition for too long. Yeah. Without any chance to support you from the outside, we're pretty okay. Okay, enough talk. I have a feeling that the palace is an anchor point of enemy's raid. Our Vox engineers are registering unknown signals coming from your residence to the other areas on the planet. The scum must have set up a control center inside. We take out their command, we will weaken their peripheral forces. Okay, so there's rotaries with us, therefore the Emperor is himself. The one who can hold the weapon to the front line. Sergeant, for what? We lost already. What's the point? Well, any more cowards here? To the line. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think I was supposed to open up the warp lanes and then just uh Is there money to be you know, made? I was supposed to open up a warp lane from the new I was supposed to go the closest path around. I was supposed to go get their ASAP. Not going through the long safe way. How about whatever? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. I cannot believe it. In the entire history of the Von Valencia's Protectorate, there has never been an attack on the capital world. Being the first and being the best are often one and the same, so my uncle taught me. Looking at the rogue trader now, I am not so certain. Well, somebody... Okay. Okay, people, I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but this is where I'm going to leave it off because it's actually quite late for me. So thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry about the shameful display. And uh, yeah, I just screwed over my capital world, but whatever, I'll have to live with it. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys and gals next time. Ciao.